All right, guys, right now we're about to go to Studio 922 Barbershop here in Wataga, Texas. My boy Jancy owns the barbershop. I'm curious to know what his shop is about. I know he does a few events in there. I know he sets up seminars and things like that. And he creates a lot of content in his shop. Uh, I love visiting barbershops and especially for the first time. It's just seeing kind of like how they operate and how they look. How they look is the main thing. Uh, and second, how they operate because it's important, right? In order for you to keep your business afloat. Studio 922. Follow me and let's do it. Vaya. Recording outside a little. I was showing outside when I walked in. I like how you have the sign outside yeah, that shows uh, the like the services and everything. That when people walk by, they can see it. It's because sometimes they want to call and you want them to call, right? But from outside, they look at it. Oh, you know what? That's exactly what I'm looking for. Let me go exactly. do it. Yeah? And so even, they can even book on the square on the QR. Oh, you have the QR code. Yeah, on both sides. That, that's dope. That's yeah. dope. That's dope. That, that, that's cool. So right pretty there. much so. Once you come in, that's this well, part of the squad. That's yeah, give me Anna. a tour. Where we at? This is okay. Let me show you. Okay. Hello. This is Anna. One of my Anna. Nice to meet you, Papito. All right. How's it going, man? How are you? This All right. Is New Blood. New Blood. New, Rafael. New he just graduated. He just graduated. Okay. Um, is his name New Blood? No, that's not. You said this is New Blood. Okay, okay. That's our New Blood. Okay. What's his name? Rafael, nice meeting you, brother. All right. Yes, oh, I sir. like this stage. Okay. Yes, sir. So here is the. Uh, Yuri is not here today. JT just left for uh, for his son. Okay. Um, and this is um my other um, veteran. Hey, Bimo. Papito, man, nice meeting nice you. All right. Bimo, man, he's yes, one of my um courageous barber, man. He's very okay. talented and um I'll, yeah, definitely. I like this because this is like a like a stage here. Like this is a. This is a show you're giving your clients. I did it because sometimes um I can host um, competitions over here. Okay, and you done that right? You do you do you do did, shows did, here, right? Did, yeah, I did one one time, and it was pretty good though. It was pretty good. Was so pretty you good. did it for that reason. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then now, is there a difference between the barbers that you have on this side and the barbers on this side? No. The thing is, I cannot do it on, on both sides because then I will have only like a little strip of that makes sense. walking, you know. That makes sense. That makes sense. But um. But I'm, I'm not even on this side. My station is over there, so you know it's. it's You're the first one, obviously. Yeah. yeah. I like to greet the clients, say, yeah. you know, how are you? So every time you come in, you get a refreshment over there. Let me so see. Let's show, show what. You, let me see what you got. So is the fridge? Here. Is the fridge full? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. That's my team over uh, there. Me, okay, that's what's up. I like how you have the the pictures and everything. So aquí tengo la agua. Obviamente aquí si te gusta el cafecito, okay. estás un café. So people come in, they got water, they got coffee. Yeah, we got the water, the coffee. Um, over here we got everything, man. We got oh, they got Coke Cherry. Got but I'm over here buying. I, I stopped and got a drink before before I walked in, and I could have just, just waited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, nice. You know, nice. All, all that stuff um, for the clients, for them to chill out over here. Always okay. something good going on, either sports, a movie, something that everybody can watch. Kids. Uh, Adult. Something suitable yes. for everybody. Yes, sir. Oh, come on, see this. Come on, come on. What? Esto lo lo acabo de construir para que. Okay. Necesito que me. We need to. I like I like the stations, by the way. Yeah. I like it. clean, simple. So okay, so do they? Is that door door opens fully or yeah. is it as a drawers? Uh -huh. And oh. they're like deep. Oh, and perfect. And yeah, yeah. You can put everything in there. Everything over there. So. I, I like this. Yeah. I really do. Pretty good. So yeah. aquí tengo las toallitas calientes. Hot towels. And everybody offers hot towels? Yeah, everybody offers hot towels nice. for your shampoo and all the products and stuff. Um, for us to um, use it, clean towels. And this is the new um, thing we did here at the studio, which is the new suite for yeah. So this is, oh, this is a, this is a, a, a suite, suite, like a private yeah. suite. Yeah, like a private okay. suite. So who cuts here? Nobody. It's, it's actually, I just finished it. It's for rent. It's available. Oh, okay. It's available right now. So if you have clientele and stuff, you got your own TV. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for a barber or a, a cosmetologist. You know, some, somebody okay. that needs privacy, their own yeah. vibe. This is cool. So you're providing, you're providing enough lighting. You got a ring yeah. light too. You yeah. got a, you got a, you got a chair. You got the, the station. I, I like well, the station. Actually, this is brand new. This is, everything is brand new. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. Honestly, this is. Somebody. Yeah, this is this is so I, got I like the station. A big mirror, you know. So you yeah, the mirror is nice too. You know, everything you see, everybody's like presentable. Like the, yeah, like that's the, what I noticed. Everybody's is yeah, well dressed. You, yeah, know. you know. Oh, only I got the costume because it's Halloween, but uh, oh, and then, I know. Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? It was funny. I was gonna ask you because he said he wears uniform, but then I looked at him like, but well, why did she come in her pajamas? It's Halloween. Oh, it's Halloween. That's a costume. It was Halloween. My bad. My bad. What's unique about this barbershop? 
is I like the way you set up, you set up the, the floor that you can set up a vent here because I was saying that before. I said, hey, we're about to step in a barbershop that uh, is unique because they also do events and, and, and all that. So even if you want to have like a barber competition, you can use the chairs, right? Or even if you want to have a seminar, you can push the chairs to the exactly. back and add and you know add the chairs. This is perfect. Yeah, because I can put all seminars. those chairs at the back and sit people over here. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. Actually, we can you get let's do one over here. I won't charge you, but I will. I will like expose you though. What do you What do you want to do? No, no, like you 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 use oh. the platform. You know, like oh. do like an event or one of your seminars or whatever. This is the importance of networking and doing you know? the things like that because when you network, what you do is that you end up collaborating with people and everybody benefits. You know, exactly. we look bigger he, together. Yeah, yeah. He's just all, he's just offering his place to 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 do a show, a seminar, a bar battle, or, or whatever it is that you want to do. And as you can see, the place is actually big enough. It's large enough to fit a good amount of people. To get a, a, a dope event. Nice show, yeah. Yeah, this yes, is nice. This is real nice. What else you got back here? This is uh, pretty much our back room. It got a, it got small on us because I um how do I say I um expand the, that room to make it so here okay, is our okay. our room. So this to is like chill. the break room. Break room, yes sir. Okay, okay. Break room here. storage. Exactly. But it got small on us because I got seven barbers and I expand that over here. Yeah. So this was bigger. This was the, that room wasn't there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like, but okay, he, okay so he has, here's how I see it, right? As a businessman, right? The space in the break room wasn't gonna give you any money. Exactly. Now you invested, and now you now it's gonna give you some money. So you did, you know, a and smart I thing. Something from one of the barber owners I got in Virginia. He told me you gotta make the break room boring. So your barbers don't stay in there. They gotta be in the, oh, yeah. up in the front, you know? Like yep, they, yep, they yeah. get a boring place. Yeah. So you know. People used to have like, oh, let's have a place in the back. Let's have this in the back. No, that's how you get them to sit down, yeah. play, and they don't wanna come out here. Yeah. You, you wanna make like it as uncomfortable as possible. Now, so yeah. this is this is dope, bro. Honestly, this is this is. Yeah, it's pretty like uh, like I said, it's, it's simple enough, but it got everything we need. Yeah. And then you, need, and, and you sell your yeah, we got merch, the merch too. So we're running low on merch too. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. Right. That's a good thing. You're running low yeah. because you, you know you, exactly. you're selling them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Usually our own community support us. That's pretty cool though. That the same community of clients they support yeah. the, the brand. Just about to go his clients. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do kind of like a like a soft tour, right? Obviously, you know he got to take his client. So what I'm looking around is so far I'm seeing I'm looking at two barbers cut here, and <laughs> both of them are like, well oh, they're good, they're good. So I'm gonna go to the first one. I'm gonna go to Anna. Right, You've been cutting for how long again? About 11 said, years. 11, 11 years. And you, you say you self taught, right? You told yourself yeah, about to cut hair. For barber cuts. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I don't think you can see the haircut from that side, right? Let's go from here. You cool if you yeah, come out of the yeah. camera, right? Cool, cool. Yeah. I still want to show the, the, the work because that, that blend is serious right there. It's clean right there. How long you been cutting hair? Uh, since I was in high school. It's about like seven years now. Like seven years? Seven years, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I think you got the best station in the whole shop. Because you got the wall here, yeah. right? So you got nobody like nobody. I don't know. I'm not bothering you, but you know, yeah, so there's nobody yeah, there. Yeah. And then from here, you can oversee everything. This is dope. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is this is dope. And and the work, obviously, look at it. The work is clean. I haven't even seen like you don't do the other side, right? Oh man, thank you, brother. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate that. So it's just pretty much to to offer exposure and to promote, you know, good barbershops, good vibes, good people, yes, sir. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And obviously good quality. And from what I'm looking at, uh, the quality is right there. So did you do the, you, you finished the other side too, right? Yeah. Can we spin them so we can see? This side, yep. It's getting low taper. Clean, clean, yep. Yeah. That's how I like my taper. Yeah. I prefer them with no arch yeah. on me, right? But it's because of the way it grows. Mm -hmm. I wish I had enough hair like, like the way you have it, yeah. so I could have the arch nice. But if I do one side with the arch, the other one, it, be, it gotta be pushed back a little bit. That's something like, nah, it's just no arch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Question, how long you been cutting your hair? Uh, it's about four years now. Four yeah. years? Yeah, four, four years. Four years. Have you ever had a haircut by anybody else other than him? When I was in the case. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, when nah, I was nah, in the it, it, Nah, look, I told barbers, be so confident in what you do that if your if your client has to go somewhere else, it's okay. Yeah. If you're so confident, if, if you're good to them, yeah. trust me, they're gonna come back to you, right? They're gonna stay with you. The thing is, let's say if you're on vacation yeah. and he needed a haircut, he's not gonna go to whatever event he got going on, you know, with no haircut. He has to get it regardless, right? So it's okay. But most barbers feel like, oh, you know, you you're supposed to not get a haircut by the Mario. Now you know what? That's it. This relationship is over. Like, bro, we ain't dating. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, go do what you gotta do. As a matter of fact, what I do with my clients is I refer them to somebody good. You know, hey, I can't, uh, I'm not gonna be able to take care of you because I'm on vacation, but you know, I spoke to, to my mans over here, he gonna take care of you. And I refer them to a good barber. Because yeah. most people, when they do that, they refer them to a bad one. So they so they'll, they'll, they'll feel like, okay, he's gonna get a bad haircut, he's gonna come back to me. No, I can't do that. I gotta fully take care of my client, and my client's gonna appreciate it, you know? But I'm sure that's the that's the situation here because for you to be cutting yourself for four years, right, yeah. you know, I mean, and from what I see, you don't need to go nowhere else, bro. Yeah, most of my yeah. clients is like very close to me, you know what I'm saying? It's not just getting hurt, but it's, it's coming here, you know, like talk to them, and then be more closer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And, and the relationship you built, yeah. you know, the fact that you've been cutting hair for four years, but it says a lot about you as a barber. So, right. so that, that's dope. And from what I can see so far, man, he he, he got a good team. It's, it's a small team, yeah. but it's a good team. And at the end of the day, I'd rather have a small team that's good than have all these barbers and the whole vibe in the shop is toxic. So, what was your name again? Uh, Be more blends. What is it? Be more. Yeah. Hey, show, show this. Show the chain. <laughs> yeah. If, if, make sure you focus on the chain. Let me. <laughs> yo, this is dope. I'm, I'm a jewelry man myself, yeah. so bro, this right here, you don't mind if I touch it, right? You gotta get it. Yo, yeah. this is, this is dope. Oh, my man, thanks, I appreciate sir. your time, thank brother. You, thank you. Hey, thank you. I appreciate you. So, okay, so right now, uh, you said you've been cutting hair for how long? Probably like a year, but most of it's been like in school, so I'm still fresh at school. Okay, okay, so you're still pretty much building your clientele and all that, okay. What made you come to this shop? I had a friend that graduated with me and he started working here first. Mm -hmm. and Honestly, I was struggling looking for shops and all that. I wanted to make sure I found a good environment too. You know, yeah. I don't want to just go anywhere now. Yeah. I think he was telling me more about it. He was like, the people here are good, the clients will get are good, and then everybody here is kind of like a mental team. So they'll actually teach you. Yeah. And so far from being here, this is my second week. They have been teaching, honestly. Oh, like, so you only been here for two weeks? Yeah. And honestly, oh, like, wow. my quality and the cuts have been better. Like, my tapes have been coming up with yeah. me. Like, they've actually been teaching me more stuff. That's good because at, at the end of the day, man, Having a strong team and a good team that helps each other, it, it's a sign of good leadership. Oh, yeah. and, and you want to be at a barbershop that has good leadership because you know you're going to grow. You know, at the end of the day, you know, you're going to be here a barber, you're going to be here as a barber, right? But eventually you're going to want to, you know, venture on your own and do your own thing. And obviously you're going to learn from good leadership so you can be a good leader too and do the same thing with others. Because at the end of the day, we, somebody's going to help us grow. And I, at the end of the day, we gotta return that and help somebody else grow too. Honestly, this is a nice shop. I've, the one thing that I'm picking out from it that I that I that I like out of, out of everything, other than the, that sink, that that separate room right there, is I like this stage here, like this floor here. Uh, it, it gives the vibe like 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 a little different feel, right? Like you have you have the barbers here that are all cutting next to each other, and they have the the, the space is perfect, and then you got. The three stations here, out uh, where you can kind of like overlook at you know everything that's going on, and then obviously you're gonna have the owner in the front, where you know he's making sure he's greeting people when they come in and directing traffic or whatever, you know. So pretty much, uh, I know for a fact that one he's gonna get so booked that one day somebody else is gonna have to go to the to the front and start greeting and, and, and everything like that, and you know that that's, that should have that's how it should happen, you know later on but everything like i said step by step so you know one day i don't know who but one day one of them is gonna be a manager if if they're not already just see who manages the shop yeah who's the manager you're the manager okay owner manager so we have we have a situation here where we have a owner is also the manager but eventually what you want is you want your team to grow in in not just uh not just in clientele wise, but in maturity, right? Just because a, a, a barber gets all fully booked and is the best one, that doesn't mean that that barber is supposed to be the manager. Because in reality, a manager is supposed to manage the shop. If a barber is so booked, how is he, how is he or she gonna manage the shop when you know they, their, their time in the barber shop is occupied with clients, right? So it's not about that. It's more about maturity and knowing that, hey, I, I know what to do and, and, and I know when to do it, et cetera. Uh, but so far, you know, Jansi is the, the, the owner, the manager, and most shops are like that. Most shops, right, at, at, at up to some point should be like that. Uh, other than that, I think the shop is dope. I think the shop is, is cool. And again, from looking at the haircut over here from, let's just look at the name, b Mao, right there. Looking at that one over there. And I'm looking at Anna over here. And obviously, Jassy, I know Jassy already. I've known for before. 
the question, the, the, the statement that I give, right, is from one to 10, would I come here and get a haircut? Absolutely, 10. I would definitely come here and sit down with anybody and get a haircut because I'm already looking at it and everybody cuts nice, okay? So now, after seeing the shop and seeing the haircuts that they're providing, you comment below and let me know what you think about the shop. If, it's a, if this is a shop that you will come and get a haircut. And if you do want to come, the information is going to be below for you to come check it out. So stay tuned for the next shop that I'm going to visit soon. So the barber logo and the studio logo, man. It's good for you. Walk it out. Enjoy it. Thank you. You know why? I'm glad you gave me the white one because all my shirts are black. I needed a white, a white one. Yes, so, <laughs> so I got it, bro. This is dope right here, man. Thank you so yeah, much. Well, all right. Of course, bro. Of course. You already know. Studio 922 in Watauga, Texas. Let's get it.